Okay, in this, these slides we want to show how to derive the, the charge as a function of time and the current as a function of time for the discharging process of a capacitor. So this is the differential equation that we have to solve. This is the loop equation. When you substitute the current as minus dq by dt, and if you don't remember this, go back to the previous video to see where this came from. When you put minus dq by dt, you get minus and minus. You plus r dq by dt. This is the differential equation that we have to solve. The strategy is exactly the same as it was for the charging process, but here it's actually even easier because here it's very easy to get the Q on one side and the T on one side. You have R dQ by dT equals to minus Q over C. And if you want to then divide by Q, the Q will go here and the T will dT will go there. So you get dQ over Q equals to minus dT over RC. This is already ready to integrate both sides. So now if you take this uh, equation and you, you integrate both sides, integration of dq over q is len q. Integration of minus dt over rc is minus t over rc plus a constant. Now to specify what this constant is for this particular problem, you need an initial condition. And the initial condition in this particular problem, if you remember, it was that when time was zero, the capacitor was maximum, had maximum charge, Q, big Q. So when you put time zero here, this term goes completely. And when you put Q equal to big Q, then that gives you that A is equal to len of big Q. So now we found the constant A for this particular initial condition. So if you take now the value of A and you substitute it into the equation, you get this equation. And now after some uh, move manipulation, you can bring len minus the len is the len of the ratio. And of course, the next step over here is to take the exponential of both sides. So if you take this and you take the exponential of both sides, e to the power len uh, q over q is just q over q. And then e to the minus t over rc is there. Step is just to multiply by big Q and you get Q as a function of time is equal to big Q to the minus T over RC. This is exactly the, the equation that we showed in the previous video. And this equation satisfies this initial condition that when the time is zero, the charge has a value big Q. To get the current, we need to write down I as minus dQ by dt. Remember again where the minus sign came from. If you don't, go back to the previous video. So you have the minus is there then dq by dt you have the q as it is and then the exponential as it is and then you have to differentiate what's inside so you put uh, minus 1 over rc the minus will go with the minus and you get q over rc e to the minus t over rc so this is the current as a function of time and this is exactly the equation we got before so to summarize this differential equation uh, when you subject it to this initial condition gives you this solution. The charge decreases with time, the current decreases with time.